So Mark Meadows is one of many that gets indicted in Georgia by Fonnie Willis. But he's the first one yakking. First thing he says is, you know, we need to move this to a federal court. Somehow he thinks that's better for him. Well, I think he figured out over time it's really not going to be much better, nor is he going to get transferred to a federal court. So now he comes out saying, you know, let's just dismiss the whole thing right here and now. <laughs> And that's hilarious to hear him say that because his chances of that happening are slim and none and slim just left town. Mark Meadows is at a point where he's panicking. He's nervous. He's cornered like all these Trump la fuck motherfuckers. They're going to find themselves in positions they've never had themselves in before. A place where they can't talk their way out of it or bully their way out of it. They're stuck. They're cornered. They could have walked away from this a long time ago and avoided all this bullshit, but their arrogance and their ignorance is what kept them standing next to Donald Trump. And now they have to pay for that misjudgment. Mark Meadows is probably the worst among them. He was a former representative, took the job as chief of staff for Donald Trump, and that will be the one day he regretted the most for the rest of his life. He thinks he can scam his way out of this. Well, that's not going to happen. Mark Meadows is stuck. Unless he does what he did up with uh, Jack Smith and roll on his Lord and Savior, that motherfucker's going to jail. And even if he does roll on Donald Trump, he'll get some lesser charges and probably still go to jail. Mark, nobody feels sorry for you. If anybody needs to get uh, held accountable for their bullshit, it's Mark Meadows.